Hello guys, today we will talk about heart failure and in this video we will know what the meaning of heart failure and uh, what the mechanism of developed of uh, oedema and uh, what the most common cause of uh, heart failure. So at the beginning we will just take a look of, of uh, anatomy of the heart. So it's right, it's left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium and right ventricle. So <coughs> the blood is beginning from here. Um, left ventricle um, push blood to the uh, circula greater circulation to the whole of the body then the veins is returning blood from the body to the right atrium then then is the, uh, the right ventricle is pump blood to the to the uh, lung to get oxygenated then the pulmonary vein is returning blood to the left atrium so that's the uh, uh, physiologically the um, the normal physiological circulation of uh, blood from the heart to the body and then to the heart. So at the heart failure, what happened in case of heart failure? Heart failure means what um, the, the heart is can't pump enough blood to the circulation. So normally in um, left ventricle is pump um, um, blood to the circulation. In case of left of the uh, heart failure, can't pump uh, ventricle, both ventricle can't pump enough blood to the circulation. So in case of of heart uh, left heart failure, now we explain what happened in case of left heart failure, when uh, left ventricle can't pump enough uh, blood to the circulation. Most, uh, there is a lot of, ty a lot of types, uh, a lot of causes of heart failure, but the most common cause is heart failure occur because of ischemia. So, for example, when the skin occur in the left ventricle, at this end of the muscle of the left ventricle, so left ventricle lost of the power of contractility. Left ventricle loss of the power of contractility to push blood, to um, pump blood to the circulation. So, when the loss of power of contractility, so here, will see, when it can't, pump enough blood to the uh, circulation of the aortic, aortic artery. So then we'll uh, um, increase pressure inside the left ventricle. Not enough blood is going to the left, um, uh, to the aorta. So we'll increase pressure inside the left ventricle. That will cause increase pressure inside left atrium also, because left atrium can't push uh, can't pump enough uh, blood uh, to the uh, left ventricle. That will cause to increase the hydrostatic pressure inside the pulmonary vein. Increase hydrostatic pressure inside pulmonary vein. When that occurs, increase hydrostatic pressure inside pulmonary vein, that too, uh, will cause, uh, will lead to to a pass of fluid from the veins of the lung inside the interstitial place of the uh, lung. So fluid will go, will pass to the interstitial place of the uh, cells of the lung, beside, inside the, the alveoli and interstitial places of alveoli. So that's called pulmonary edema. So when the fluid increases hydrostatic pressure inside pulmonary vein, Fluid will pass from the pulmonary vein inside the interstitial place of the uh, uh, lung cells. That that uh, is called those is pulmonary. It's called this pulmonary edema. So, <coughs> in case of left ventricular failure, le left heart failure, the left ventricle can't, due to ischemia, can't pump um, enough blood to the circulation inside our our the increased pressure inside left ventricle. Le, uh, then lead to increased pressure inside left atrium and increased hydrostatic pressure inside the pulmonary vein. That cause to fluid to pass from the vein of the uh, pulmonary vein inside the uh, interstitial place of the lung, which is called uh, pulmonary edema. In such case, in pulmonary edema, um, uh, patient will come with severe dyspnea because of a lot of uh, fluid inside. Uh, the uh, lung cells or interstitial places. That's what happened in case of left ventricular failure. Now we'll explain what happened in case of right ventricular failure, right heart failure. Um, for example, due to ischemia of the right ventricle, so right ventricle 
loss of a power of contractility to, uh, to uh, pump blood inside the um, pulmonary artery. Not enough blood going to the, uh, from the right ventricle inside the pulmonary artery. So that needed to increase pressure here in the uh, right ventricle because not uh, enough amount of uh, blood going uh, inside the pulmonary artery. So blood remain here and increasing pressure inside um, right ventricle. That lead to increased pressure in right atrium also. Right atrium will increase pressure inside right atrium and increase hydrostatic pressure in the uh, vents. Superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. The, again, here we'll see increased pressure here and also here. Increase hydrostatic pressure in, uh, in the vents that will cause to fluid to pass from the vents in, uh, in, the, in the interstitial phase and that will cause leg edema. So in case of uh, right heart failure, patient will come with edema, generalized body edema, especially leg edema, ascites, hepatosuprinomegaly uh, because of increase hydrostatic pressure inside the uh, vents. In case of left ventricular failure, patient, um, so increase hydrostatic pressure in pulmonary vein and will cause pulmonary edema because of blood pass from the pulmonary vein inside the uh, interstitial place that called uh, pulmonary edema. That's all about a uh, heart failure, short explanation and um, thank you for Thank you for watching video. Uh, please sub subscribe to get all videos, easy explanation and quickly understanding.